The Power A Nano Enhanced Wireless Controller featured in today's review is provided courtesy of Power A. If it hasn't become too obvious that I love to play games by the fact that I run a gaming YouTube channel and constantly cover them, I like games. Lately, though, it has been watching my kids start to get into things that has been where I found the most fun in this hobby. There is one problem my four-year-old daughter has with certain games, though, and that is the size of her controllers. She can certainly get things done, but it definitely is more of a hassle than it could be with a smaller input device. Thanks to the third-party market, there are a number of solutions available for this very issue, and our friends at PowerA have sent out one of their Nano Nintendo Switch controllers to see if it can fit the bill. The PowerA Nano Enhanced Wireless Controller comes in a Switch accessory-themed box with the controller smack dab in its center. Its nano size designation and a number of key highlights are also on display. Opening the front flap, you can get your first real glimpse of the controller, while a nice summary of it can be found on the inside flap. Each side of the box bears a render of the controller from a different angle to further showcase its color scheme. On the back, we get a further look into key features of the controller across a few product shots. Inside the box is the controller, USB charging cable, drawstring bag for storage, and finally, a user's manual. As its name implies, the Nano Controller comes in much smaller than your typical gamepad. Comparing it to a standard Switch controller, you can see that it is smaller along every axis. Despite this size difference, it doesn't feel cramped in my larger hands, and even the handles allow for me to get most of my fingers on it for additional grip. Every button you would expect to find on a Nintendo Switch controller is present here, and each has a wonderful feel to them. Face and shoulder buttons have a good actuation range, and the D-pad has the ability to be rolled as I like. Both thumbsticks have a good amount of resistance to them, falling right into my preferred range. The anti-friction rings that surround them also ensure smooth rotations. On the back of the controller, you'll find two additional programmable buttons, which have become a norm for a number of PowerA controllers. Each button lines up perfectly with my grip on the controller, making them easy to access during gameplay. The color scheme on this particular Nano controller is also quite pleasing, with its dark gray base being highlighted perfectly by the red and blue neon of the thumbsticks and shoulder buttons. The black buttons also stand out nicely to wrap up the aesthetic design. As for the overall build quality, this is one sturdy little device. No amount of twisting or pressure saw it buckle to my will, but perhaps a three-story balcony drop can make it change its mind. <laughs> nope, it didn't care about that either. While the controller looks cool and has a sturdy build, it makes little difference if its performance isn't there. Thankfully, the Nano Controller turns in a solid performance that should please almost every Switch player looking for a smaller controller. Despite it being smaller than I would personally prefer, I had no trouble diving into an assortment of titles to give it a run for its money. Thumbstick performance has been pleasing, making it work well for any number of first- and third-person titles. For fans of motion aiming, the Nano does have motion controls built in to allow for the functionality. This also makes it so the Nano has near-complete compatibility with the Switch library, which is always a plus in my book. Anything that relies on Rumble or Amiibo support can't be done on the Nano. Face buttons and D-pad input likewise do not disappoint. Each press registers as expected, and I have yet to experience any misreads while trying to do precise inputs. While I will never be a combo master in Street Fighter, it is always good to not feel handicapped by your input device. Diagonals especially are always so hit and miss with some controllers, so it is great to see the Nano stand strong here. The two rear programmable buttons also allow for easier use of certain inputs during gameplay. Thanks to its built-in battery, the Nano can last for 20 plus hours per charge, and it only takes around 2 hours to fully charge. The included USB cable has a decent length to it, so it can be used while charging if you play at a desk. Otherwise, you might want to look into something a bit longer to fit your setup. When not in use, it is great to be able to place the Nano in its travel bag for safekeeping and storage. Deciding that I am personally pleased with the Nano, the time has come to put it to the ultimate test of purpose. Being a good alternative for my daughter to play Switch games with. Sure enough, it fits more naturally into her hands, with buttons resting right under her fingers. While she still struggles to play a number of titles without instruction, the smaller size has definitely helped her feel more capable to do so by eliminating the physical struggle. With as much as she enjoys her afternoon game time, it's a joy to see her more easily control things. The Nano has also been eloquently dubbed her new Gway controller. This is my Gway controller. While the Nano has proven to be an excellent controller and perfect for users of a younger age or smaller hand sizes, I can't help but feel let down by its lack of rumble support. Rumble is a staple of game immersion for me, so I always get bummed out when the feature is missing on a modern input device. I know this won't bother a number of you out there like it does myself, but I will always call this one out. 
My next and probably more universal criticism of the Nano is its lack of grip on the thumbsticks. Each stick is completely smooth, which can result in an accidental slip here and there if you are not careful. It's possible there's some removable thumb caps out there that could provide grip, but obviously it would be ideal to have that be an included feature. Maybe in future revisions Power A can address this, but for now, this is where it stands. It is also a bit disappointing that the Nano doesn't show up as a Pro Controller in the Switch to allow for custom button remapping. The Power A Nano Enhanced Wireless Controller is a great input device for anyone looking to get a smaller controller. Performance is top-notch, and the additional two programmable rear buttons ensure you have an advantage over a standard pad. Build quality is also quite amazing, making this ideal for younger kids. For my daughter, it has enhanced the way she can play games thanks to it fitting into her hands more naturally. Unless lack of rumble support is a deal breaker for you, there is little reason to overlook the Nano for this use case. And that is the Power A Nano Enhanced Wireless Controller for the Nintendo Switch. Very solid, very stable controller, and great for smaller children. Or if you happen to have smaller hand sizes. I know I personally don't plan to really use this guy a whole lot, but it is just wonderful for my daughter. I'm more of a Duke type person myself. But a big thank you to Power A for sending this one out for us to try and see how it would fit into our everyday lives. And of course, a big thank you to each and every one of you who have stuck around to watch this whole review. Bit on the shorter side for this one, but I felt like it was just right to the point. Now, I do have a couple of big favors to ask if you haven't done so already. Hit that thumbs up or thumbs down button depending on how much you like today's video. And if you haven't done so already, hit that sub button, notification bell, so you can see when new videos go live on the channel, so you can see more reviews just like this. If you'd like to further help support the growth of the channel, you could also check out that join button here on YouTube, or the Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen when it pops up. Little goes a long way to keep this place up and running, and just keeping the content flowing to each and every one of you. Just big thank you to all of our current champions. You are amazing. Thank you for believing what we do here and supporting us the way you have. It's just been absolutely incredible, above and beyond. But that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome. We'll see you back next video.